Thanks, uh, Mr. Alim Chumo, uh, Director General of INBAR, for inviting IFID to participate in this Congress. It is indeed an honor and a very great pleasure for us to be here today, and I would like to send a very warm greeting to all participants. I would also like to acknowledge the wonderful work that INBAR is doing to promote bamboo as a strategic natural resource, key to fight both climate change and poverty. As we confront today's global challenges, having a natural resource, resource such as bamboo, which reduces our carbon footprint and contributes to water conservation, while at the same time generating economic opportunities and boosting global economies, makes it a major asset to create greener, more prosperous, more sustainable economies and societies. For IFID, bamboo, or caña gadua, as it is known in Ecuador, is becoming a symbol of the green economy projects that we want to promote and support in our partner countries. I see its long history of supporting bamboo as an engine for sustainable growth in the province of Manabí, Ecuador, in partnership with INBAR, makes us proud of what we have achieved together and we can continue to do working together. The Manabí Workshop School, where we train young people at the risk of social exclusion and which will soon go through a second phase, is one concrete example of our cooperation. With this next phase, we will turn this school into a mobile training project so we can reach remote areas and vulnerable populations. Jointly, together, we are also working with the Regional University of the Amazon, IKIAM, to support research and innovation in sustainable construction, with a focus on making sure that these constructions are of increasingly higher quality when meeting higher demand. The demand and commercialization of bamboo continues to increase and has led to a market boom. In order to foster productivity and enable small local producers to benefit from this boom, we have launched a public-private partnership with INBAR to help these producers gain access to international markets and encourage exports. The success of our collaboration in Ecuador has been the result of a rigorous commitment to innovation and research, as well as a deep respect for the environmental sustainability and traditional construction methods that IFID and INBAR, INBAR and IFID have been supporting since the terrible earthquake which devastated several towns in the region in 2016. Under IFID's climate change program, Arauclima, our joint work to enhance legal frameworks and sustainable management of bamboo in Ecuador and Peru will allow us to spread and scale up successful models in other Latin American countries, Panama, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Cuba or Colombia, as well as to promote knowledge sharing and capacity building to strengthen climate resilience through nature-based solutions. As the world recovers from the health, economic and social crisis unleashed by the COVID-19 pandemic and continues to fight climate change and other environmental crises, including air pollution and biodiversity loss, the role of partnerships will be as important as ever. That is why we will continue to work closely with INBAR. At IFID, we hope we can continue to be a facilitator of alliances between key stakeholders such as businesses, local governors, or our EU partners. We hope the extension of our collaboration to the African context, in this case to Ethiopia, will allow us to build on our successful experience on fighting poverty among the most vulnerable populations, developing a circular economy based on bamboo, through the creation and development of new supply chains, and applying technological innovation. This will be key to improve the resilience of target communities and the wider objective of environmental management in Ethiopia. We are very excited about the starting this project, which may well be a first step for further work together in Africa. I'm truly sorry that on this instance, I'm not able to be there with you, but on behalf of IFID, we would like to wish you all a very productive and successful Congress. Thank you. <laughs>